I cannot believe my eyes right now. This is this is remarkable. Electronic Arts has just released the source code of General Zero Hour. This is the most remarkable event <laughs> in zero hour history. Oh boy. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I want to watch it. All activity. It's uh, it's uh, the best day for zero hour. <laughs> oh my gosh! I I have uh, I have forked it immediately just in case it, it disappears. <laughs> um, I'm I'm speechless. That means all the work we have done in the last couple of months, uh, we no longer need to continue. We can all drop it. What we just did. That is remarkable. Uh, if if uh, they would have told me that uh, that this is coming, then we could have saved a lot of time. Probably spent one thousand hours doing things we didn't need to do. So this includes all codes. Play Steam build here, browser engine codes. Let's see, tools. Wow, even the tools are in there. Wow, that is amazing. Even the tools are there. Mangler, Matchbot, Texture Compression for DDS, I guess. Wow, that is amazing. GUI Edit, Image Packer, Launcher. That is so amazing. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. It's all here. <laughs> oh my gosh. I can't believe it. Wait, this means that we can now fix everything. Basically. We can now do everything. That's all we needed. That's all we needed. Now it's the time to fix that thing. Now it's time. Oh my gosh. The quickest way to build. Well, I think the first thing we need to do is um, um, port it to a newer version of compiler. I mean, it's not necessary to stick with the old compiler, right? Um, you will need to make extensive changes to kernel before it's successfully compiled. Uh, I think that, I think that, uh, I think that would take f maybe a few weeks max, and then we got it on 64 bits. Windows has a policy where executor version update install. Uh, let's let's look into this in a separate session. I just wanted to take a break. I'm just recording it real quick because I just saw it because it just dropped one hour ago. Uh, I can't tell you how happy I am right now. This is this is remarkable. Developing time would have taken a couple more years to finish, and now. We don't need it anymore. We don't need to continue with Syme because we got the original. We have the original. Oh my gosh.
this is the most amazing day. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so happy. I think, um, yeah, I got it from Ligonier. He wrote it to me. Let me tell him. Um, I am so happy right now. Um, I don't know what to say. They say, I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm about to cry. I'm about to cry. I don't know why, but I'm just so invested in improving Zero Hour. I tried so many things and now we just have the source code of it. <laughs> it's, it's unbelievable. I, I have to say, I, 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 I can't believe it. I can't believe it. I can't believe it. Okay, I was I was just uh, uh, checking if there was no confidential conver con conversation here, but oh my gosh, I'm so happy. And it's for both games. It's for generals and general zero hour. Well, I I I, I mostly care about zero hour, so I I have no idea. I have no idea what came to EA's mind to do this, but it's absolutely remarkable. It is absolutely remarkable. <sighs> oh, wow. Okay. There will be a lot of work. Yeah. A lot of work to be done. Okay, now, now, now the good work can start. We can actually start fixing zero hour. How about that? How about that? Oh man. Ha, ha, ha. Yeah. Wow. Wow. That's remarkable. Oh man, I I'm really surprised that Electronic Arts releases a source code for their game, a commercial game that is being sold on Steam, and they make it open source. It's it's unbelievable. I have so much respect for Electronic Arts right now. I, it's it's so remarkable. I would like to thank everyone who made it possible to release the source code. I don't know them personally. I don't know Elfina and EA. I don't know who made this decision, but whoever made it, I'm so thankful. It's it really is for me. It's one of the best days because I'm so passionate about this game and I just want to fix it up. From the ground up, I want to fix everything, every bug. I want to improve it. I want to build a new backend for it. I want that all the players that enjoyed it back in the day can jump in back into General's Zero Hour and just have the greatest matches that they ever had without any mismatches, without any crashes, without any bugs, no glitches, everything pretty beautiful high performance, everything well. And I think it is possible. For me, Zero Hour is, I, I, I can't explain you why I'm so passionate. It's just, I just love this game and I, 
I think it's a game that you can get really excited about for, you know, it's, um, whenever there was a big World Series event or some other tournaments, then I just was very excited for it to like just watch it or stream it or commentate or, you know, just have the players have see excellent fights and of course play myself. Back in the day, I played a lot of Zero Hour and I had a lot of fun with it and yeah, I would like to see the game grow. I think it's possible to pull way more players and make it a fantastic experience for a wider audience. Now, obviously, there will be hard, there will be troubles on the way because of um, cheating and so on, right? So there needs to be a strategy. But yeah, I think um, with the right steps. It will be possible from here on to build greatness. This is absolutely remarkable. This is remarkable. Okay, I, I will take the break now. Um, I wanted to take the break uh, just before I saw the source code. Um, and then next session, we will take a look at this. And I think uh, I need to discuss with the Syme guys uh, where we should uh, put our main repository. Either it will be in the Super Hackers or in Syme. Um, but yeah, we need a repository to to where 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 most of the programmers collaborate. So. Ideally, we don't have like everyone doing their own thing. So ideally, we have one place where everyone contributes to, or like let's say the you know stake stakeholders of building um, like a, a great experience where everyone has the same goal, right? Obviously, I expect there will be forks for like uh, mods, right? So like let's say Contra mod wants to make their own version, then I expect they make their own fork. But I think for a multiplayer community, we need one fork where we focus on all bug fixes, performance improvements, a new server, and and uh, like enhancement improvements, like enabling new functionality. But I expect that we probably don't want to like hard code new functionality into uh, into the into the code base, but we probably want to expose like uh, optionality to the ini file so that you can like configure new setups, right? So for example, one controversial thing is the uh, movement bug, right? Where units uh, move faster diag diagonally than uh, in straight coordinates, right? So there could be a, a setting where you say, okay, uh, please. Uh, please uh, m move in the same speed in all uh, 2D directions or use a legacy movement with this bug, right? Because maybe someone really enjoys <laughs> the, uh, the legacy way of bug movement, right? Uh, but yeah, I think we can make every new thing configurable or well, maybe not. Maybe some things can be just changed, right? I mean, uh, like like this movement thing. I guess that this is a function that is on a hot path, right? It's it's a it's a function that all entities in the world will call when they have to calculate movement, right? So this might be expensive function. So we have to see, like, okay, how how could this be implemented efficiently if it was to be configurable, right? Well, it's one if check, right? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, a branch predictor should take care of this, I guess. Okay, anyway, I will take a break. I'm 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 speechless. I'm so excited right now. I think uh I I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. I'm speechless. Okay, well, I wish you a great day. I, I wish uh, everyone at EA a great day as well, at uh, year and decade, whatever. I'm very thankful. This is, um, I, I've been modding, well, not modding, but yeah, uh, supporting online community for zero hours since 15 years with a, with a gen tool, right? Uh, Anti-cheat and uh, bug fixes, some, some bug fixes and 
uh, some new features, right? Um, uh, cheat detection and stuff like this. And I, I always wanted to, you know, make a zero hour better experience, not just for myself, but for everyone. And it worked for 15 years. And I think now with this, we will enter a new era of building much more and much greater. It's remarkable. I'm, I'm speechless. Okay. Then I would take a break here. Yeah.